We're offering this course out at Loyola University's Retreat and Ecology Campus. And it's a beautiful place with 98 acres of wilderness. But the most wonderful thing about it is all of the field sites that we can take people out into the field so that they're learning about nature in nature. It's also located in McHenry County in Northern Illinois, which uh, is a county kind of known for its conservation work too. Quick question for you. All right, what, what is the source of all of the, the energy that flows to these food webs? I notice that you're depicting it pretty well. This course is called an integral ecology. And the particular topic that we are working on this week is biodiversity on the planet. There were really good opportunities in the classroom to learn about the hard science um, and the more data-driven things uh, impacting ecology and biodiversity. There were also a lot of really wonderful opportunities in the field to get out into nature, to explore beautiful places um, like the woods here at Lurek, uh, as well as other uh, places in the surrounding area. We came out here to this beautiful pond at Lurek and uh, live trapped turtles and we got to have hands-on experience of uh, what these animals look like. Oh, well, here's one. Oh, I caught one! I caught one! We had the chance to kind of learn not only how do you bait these traps and put them in the water and let them sit overnight, but what does it look like to, to uh, check the traps to see if you caught something, see if you didn't make adjustments as necessary. Look at this, so Anybody cool. From there, we went with Father Steve Mitten to a local nature preserve area and walked around listening to birds. Uh, Father Steve Mitten is an ornithologist and he was able to pick up on just sounds of birds and you know notify them and, and locate them and tell us what they are. That's a red winged blackbird, big cat bird, American gulf pigeon. Kind of a goose. I think it's valuable to be contemplative in action and one of the greatest ways of being contemplative is being out in nature and just um, focusing one's senses and let the nature uh, make itself known which requires of, of us to be quiet and to listen and to be attentive to see what nature has to offer us. You know, one of the important things about first studies is learning the context of the world in which we are going in to um, do ministry as Jesuits. And a huge part of uh, the context of our world today is the ecological crisis that our world is facing. Uh, and it's important to not only be reflective about that, but to really um, learn some of the science and, and to really have a, a conversion of both mind and heart. The concept of integral ecology as perceived by uh, Pope Francis is putting um, economics and uh, theology and philosophy and the sciences together. It's not, they're not separate uh, silos. We get a deeper understanding of what's going on when we can integrate all our disciplines of study. Wow. Look at the eyeballs in that guy. Wow. Every Jesuit is constantly asking, who is our God? How can we draw closer? And I think, uh, if God is the great artist of nature, then what better way to get closer and at least have additional insights to that great artist than through God's created works.